Good morning. You know, it always amazes me in Scripture, just who God chooses to use. He uses some pretty, uh, pretty incredible people who've done some pretty rotten things in their life. He uses people like Moses, who was a murderer. He uses people like David, who was an adulterer and a conspirator of his, uh, of his lover's uh, husband and have him, having him killed. He uses Peter, who just denies that he even knows Jesus, and he uses Paul, who's an active killer of Christians, um, and he uses Paul to be one of the best missionaries, greatest missionaries of all time, who wrote most of the books in our New Testament. God uses all those kind of people, not because of how great they are, but because of how incredible his forgiveness is, that no matter what they'd done, he'd been able to forgive them. Um, and I'm thankful that he's got that kind of forgiveness for us as well. Even if we're not murderers and adulterers uh, and killers of Christians, uh, we've all done stuff that has to be forgiven. And um, my sin is no less than what they've done. It's just different. And I'm glad that God is a God of forgiveness. Our uh, Surgeon General has told us that this week is going to get pretty difficult for us as Americans. We're going to see a lot of our fellow countrymen have to be hospitalized due to the coronavirus, and uh, he's indicated that we ought to expect a lot of them to, to pass away this week even from it. And uh, I, I guess I would just wish for all of them before they pass to know what it means to be forgiven. And I would wish that for you and me as well, that we can just know what it's like. And if, if you've been forgiven, in a moment when I read this psalm, uh, this is going to ring true. And you're going to be thankful for the forgiveness that God showed you. And if you've not experienced that, I hope this causes you to start thinking about what that could look like for God to forgive you. And I'd love to, to talk with you about it. beautiful thing is we're going to read is you just have to, to talk with God about it and, and seek that forgiveness from Him. If you do that, I'd sure love to, to follow up with you and talk to you about it this week. So let me just read this, this passage that David, the uh, adulterer and the murderer, uh, wrote when he talked about his forgiveness. Here's how David said it. What happiness for those whose guilt has been forgiven. What joys when sins are covered over. What relief for those who have confessed their sins. And God has cleared their record. There was a time when I couldn't admit to what, that I was a sinner. Let me try that again. There was a time when I wouldn't admit what a sinner I was. But my dishonesty made me miserable and filled my days with frustration. All day and all night your hand was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water on a sunny day. Until I finally admitted all my sin to you and stop trying to hide them. I said to myself, I will confess them to you, Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. God, I'm thankful today that like David, all of us can experience that kind of forgiveness. The kind of forgiveness where we just simply acknowledge to you that we've messed up and that we need to be forgiven for what we've done. And like David, that we can know what it's like to have our sins completely forgiven and our guilt gone. I would pray that all of us would experience that kind of grace and forgiveness and that we'd kind of be able to, to know what it's like to not have to carry that guilt any longer. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, again, if you have been forgiven by God for what you've done, then today just live in that forgiveness and be thankful that you don't have to live in that guilt anymore. If that's something you want to experience or to explore more, I'd love to talk with you about that. So send me a private message or send me a text or a call, and we'll talk through it. Have a great day.